Hey everyone, I am going to do a fun DIY tutorial with you today while I'm on Facebook Live. I know in the past I've done some money saving tips or talking about coupons or talking about, oh, I don't know, things like shopping using uh, the Walmart pickup service or things like that, but um, I want to just start showing maybe some more DIY tutorials on my Facebook Live pages because I love doing them. I post about them all the time. And I figured today would be a fun one to show you how to do. So I'm going to show you how to needle felt an orna a Christmas ornament that can also be used as an essential oil diffuser. So I do have a post on how to make this, and I'll put that link at the bottom of this video. But see this cute little Christmas tree right here? And it's got little beads on it, a little star, and you can just hang this on your tree. And if you have a bottle of like pine or spruce or fir or Christmas blend or some sort of essential oil that you want that smells like Christmas time, you can just put a drop or two on your ornaments. And you probably need to do this once, twice a day when you wanna when you want the fresh scent in your in your room or whatever room your Christmas tree is in. So I just put a couple drops on here. It smells amazing. It smells like authentic Christmas tree. And the cool thing is, is that, like for me, I've had an artificial tree forever. I've had an artificial tree when I was little because my uh, mom and my sister were allergic to real trees. And now I'm so used to having an artificial tree that I just want an artificial tree and I want to put it up the day before Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, somewhere early and keep it up. So I like this because with the essential oils, I can sprinkle this kind of on three or four ornaments around my tree. And then when you walk in the room, it's like, wait, that's an artificial tree, but it smells real. And it smells so good. So making these little ornaments is like super easy, like way easier than I ever thought. I remember the first time I heard the word needle felting, I'm like needle felting, what is that? That sounds like complicated and hard and I don't know and then once I learned what it was it's like that's all you do that's it like that's super easy and super fun so what you need to do is that um, the easiest way to do this is to get a set of cookie cutters now on my post of how to do the needle felted ornament I do have a set that I purchased from Amazon that is Christmas themed you don't have to get Christmas scenes but the, like it comes with a star or a snowflake there's a heart, so you can make some of these even for Valentine's Day. There's an angel. Uh, we got a stocking here and a bell. And the one I'm going to use today is the Christmas tree. And then once you get your cookie cutter, then you need a needle felting kit, which you technically probably don't even need like a full kit. You really just need a long needle. That's the most important part. But I did order a, a needle felting kit and it comes with this styrofoam board, which is what you're going to use to work on while you're needle felting. And then you need like a color of wool that you want to work with. Now, since I'm making trees, I wanted this nice Christmas green color. Now the needle felting kit did come with a little bit of wool, but it did not come with the shade of green that I wanted. So I did have to order a different set of colored wool, which I also have linked to my post. So you can find all the supplies on there if you want to do this. And so then it's really simple. You take your ornament. So now I'm going to move the camera down so you can see my hands a little bit better now. I know this is a little awkward because it's live video and you know, but once you see the basic idea of this, you're gonna realize how easy this is. So basically, I'm just gonna take my green wool here, kind of bend it up, nothing fancy, and you just kind of like shove it into the ornament. Now you wanna kind of make it even, and the places, like the tips and the corners, that are the little nooks and crannies that are hard to get at for this shape, you wanna make sure some wool gets in there, and you can add more later on. But the kit comes with like a bunch of these big needles, like they're big and long. And you just take the needle and watch how easy this is. You just start like poking the ornament with a needle. You just start poking inside the cookie cutter. And the more you poke, basically what happens is that the little barbs on the wool start grabbing onto each other. And so then you're creating felt, which when I think about felt, I think about just those little flat pieces of wool that you buy at Walmart for random kids crafts. I'm like, oh, that's why they're called felt. Because you're taking wool and you're making like a more solid material out of the fiber. And so you see how once you just keep poking it and find the places that are sticking up, and you can see how that the wool just keeps getting a little bit flatter and flatter, and you want to get into the corners. 
And this didn't take me that long to do. Now, the part of this that gets a little bit tricky is knowing, well, when do I stop? And when is my ornament done? And how long do I have to needle felt for? And this is kind of a variable guessing game. But once you get like one side of it kind of flat like that, then you're gonna wanna turn it over. And the other side's gonna be pretty fuzzy. And see how when you pull it off, it gets pretty fuzzy. And you wanna get all that flattened out again. So then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And basically, you just go back and forth and just kind of you just poke it with a needle. And you do this until it's flat and all the fibers are tucked in and you feel like that it's solid enough and thick enough and even the places like in the corners or around the base are stable enough and together enough that you have your ornament. Now, I would probably go back and do this like, I'd probably flip it over like three or four more times and make sure it was nice and solid. And I do have one that I already finished before and so this is the one I figured okay it's done it's full it's pretty good my ugly band-aid sorry I got a cut on my finger uh but so here's the tree when it's done and now you can just get some beads I've got like a full bag of these little colored seed beads and some star beads and then you can just take a needle and thread and just thread them on in whatever pattern you want to and then you put the oil right on the felt part and hang it on your tree and you can make these, like, kids let my daughter, my eight-year-old, I wouldn't, I don't think I let my four-year-old do this because my four-year-old and this needle probably would not get along. My eight-year-old, though, would be very careful and she would do, and she has done a good job with this. She made her own little angel. Um, but you could make numerous shapes. I made this little snowflake one and decorated it with some uh, white clear beads and some silver string. Or I've got this bell here that I haven't decorated yet, but I probably should and get this up on my tree too. And uh, so I have two, I will have three trees when I'm done with this, a bell, a snowflake, and my daughter's angel. And if I put a drop of this oil on all those ornaments once a day or in the evenings when we're watching TV, it's going to smell great. And it's fun. And if... Like when I first learned how to needle felt, this is like this is as far as I've ever gone. But if you go on Pinterest or if you just Google needle felting or even go to Etsy, there are some amazing needle felting artists out there that make like gorgeous wall hangings and use all these different colors. And just um, there's some people who do like 3D animals or people I have a friend who she's so great. She has like a whole nativity scene that she has needle felted like she's made her own. Mary and Joseph made her own animals out of wool and a needle, and it's like the coolest thing ever. And so if you just get started, this is like the most basic way to do it, but you could really expand on this and turn this into a fun hobby and make some really cool things. I have another friend who's got a, a purse that was needle felted, and it's like, it's so cool, and it's so unique, and it's out of natural fiber, and it's something you can do by hand. Your older kids can join in on it and it's just a fun project to do. So if you're looking for a fun Christmas project, grab the needle felting kit, grab some colored wool, make a cute ornament, and if you want to, add a little essential oil for a little bonus. You can, you don't have to, but it's kind of fun to add it on there, and that's my DIY tip for you today. So if you have any comments, questions on how to do this, questions on the materials to use, please leave that in the comments. If you have ideas of other DIYs you want me to show on Facebook Lives, please let me know. Or even on past posts that you've looked at, you're like, oh, I wish you would just make a video of this. It would be so much easier. Let me know. I'm up for it. So I hope everyone's having a wonderful December Christmas season, and I'll see you again probably next week. Bye.